my buddy had been writing a lot of Rust, uh, and he told me that Rust was a really cool language. He was really enjoying it. And I had tried to learn it a couple years previously, and it was just too confusing. I, I didn't understand the borrow checker. I didn't understand the concept of ownership. It was so unlike any language I had done before. So it was just weird. I'd kind of given up on it. You know, I was working that job I didn't like. So then I was like, okay, I have a fresh set of eyes. Let's try to do this. And one of my favorite ways to learn a language is to port existing code I have to this language. And that's worked really well. I wouldn't recommend that for Rust. I'll get into that. But I ported a program I wrote called VSV. This program's still there. If you're on Void Linux, you can install VSV, uh, Void Service Manager. I ported it from Bash to Rust, so it would go a lot faster. And that was, that was an experience. That was like... There were times where I was programming and I was getting frustrated. I was like, I was like, I would have these thoughts where I'm like, am I washed up? Like, can I, can I not do this? Am I, is it just a skill issue? Like, am I just not good enough to be able to do this? And then I would remind myself, I'm like, that's a, that's a crazy thought to have because like internally I have this belief that anyone can do anything. Like I do, this is how I operate in my life. I operate under the assumption that anyone can do anything and like I can do anything, not in a hubris sort of way. A little bit of hubris, but I believe like I I can do anything if I really take the time to learn it and set my mind on it. Um, learning Rust is just a mental battle for me, so I just have to really spend time and understand what I'm doing. 